I dated a guy on and off for about seven years who only gave me one present. Oh. A book. <laughs> My name is Ijoma Anyebu. No, I'm, I'm what you call an entertainment busybody. I've pretty much done it if it, it's in the industry. My name is Adebukola Oladfoko. I am an actor. I am an actor. <laughs> All right, I'm an actor. I've also produced my own short film, which never saw the light of day because it's really, really hard. And I give kudos to all the producers out there. But yes, I'm an actor on a normal day. I did it in chapel service in my school in uni, in church, but it was this guy that I used to crush on in secondary school. And we never kissed the secondary school because he had a girlfriend, but I was secretly crushing on him. So when we got to uni, we now started pairing together. That's what we called it in school. We started pairing together. So this one time he took me to church, we went upstairs, and he kissed me. It was so cool. I think I was in SS1. And he was maybe like four years my senior. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. And I was, I was, I was literally just waiting for my foot to do that. You know, you know, it's Cinderella. Yeah, the they were Yes. Mine and so when it was done, I was like, my foot did not pop. Perhaps this one don't count. So maybe we <laughs> this is not the first one. I don't think that pop foot thing ever works. Cause me, I was it really shaking. I was like this, cause I think he had kissed before. So I was like, it was so awkward. No, usually it's it. Somebody actually said I was doing runs. And I'm telling you why that hurts me. I'm doing runs and I'm driving to Eta Corolla. <laughs> Give me a little bit of credit. I have a brain. I apply it to everything I do. So if I wanted to do that, mm. excuse me. Are you block? Please. If it's not for are you block, oh. it's not worth it. That's it. So yes, I thought I thought that was ridiculous. I thought I because I was I was really quite upset that they thought that it was runs that bought Toyota Corolla. I'm like. Let's see, when there's Range Rover and Mercedes Benz, calm down. It's there, collect the money, go home. It Secure go the bag a bit. Shower your blessings. You know? <laughs> <laughs> For me, I've heard so many things. I've heard the Ron's Girl thing. I've heard I look. Is this rated? Is this show rated? I've heard I look like a sex machine. And uh, no, you've gotten that. It was. It was I have heard. Oh, I think I think the one that I really don't like is a snob thing because I don't blame people for calling me a snob because I use glasses, I wear contacts. So when I'm not wearing my glasses or contacts, I really can't see. Okay. So you could be waving at me and I won't see you. So mm -hmm. a lot of people from secondary school have been calling me a snob. So yeah, I'm not a snob. I'm actually the nicest person. Hi. Hi. Mommy, I have more than one. Lord of God. There are so many, but the first thing that came to my mind, because I didn't deserve that beating. Thank you. I was still very young, right? I came home from school, and my auntie and my sister, they came to work, they were so happy. They were like, Puki, did you draw, in my auntie's room, they were like, did you draw on the wall? I actually didn't, but they were, they were like, that's seriously, tell us if you drew on the wall. Mommy wants to give to the person, because like, the drawing is so mad. I was like, yes, yes, I drew. I did not draw. But they were so excited. They were like, it's the drawing is so beautiful. It's was so... And I was like, yes. Then I laughed. Then I entered. My mom beat. <laughs> and, I, and I couldn't say I didn't do it. Because I had Because you had just said that you did. It. That bit and paint me. If yeah. I had done it, it's not painful. So well. The first one was my, I think I was about five or so. And my father had bought, like, you know, Nazco conflicts? The cattle. <laughs> yes. They filled it with biscuits. The German could not wait for Christmas. Every day, I got to take one packet. Then I hide under the bed. See, this is how you know that you're doing something wrong. And then if my sister ever catches me, it's like, oh no, daddy said I could take it. Then I give her one out of the packet, to one biscuit like this. Then, towards Christmas time, my father now said, so go and bring so so so. And so. Then the person went there, I know they saw they was not school. Uh, sorry, that, there's no there's no rich tea. There's no, my father said, I don't understand. How do you mean? Went and opened the cattle. Oh yeah, come and confess. <laughs> 25 strokes of the cane. I remember it because they took me inside the room on AC. Oh yeah, drop your trousers. Whew. The second one was, um, I think I was about eight and this was secondary school and they accused me of having stolen somebody's snacks. And said, oh yeah. And funny enough, the girl that they said I stole her snacks was my friend. See how human beings are. She now said, no, this one, she has, she must have stolen it, stolen it because you know her mother gives her cabin and butter with water. So you know, she's poor. Aww. 
I'd never ever thought about it that way before. I used to like to, you know when you put butter inside like, cabinet, mm. not press it, it yes, not come out of the hose. It's nice. I thought it was cool. So every day I was looking forward to, you know, doing that. <laughs> and then somebody come and tell me that the reason why I have it is because I'm poor. They beat me. Then after beating me, they now found out that it was the gay man's child who had stolen it. Um, so yeah. Safe to say I didn't speak to them for like four years. And I saw them every day. It was, it was good, it was bad. So it was, it was, I think it was the idea that I liked, but the teddy bear was so horrible. I said I wanted teddy bear for Valentine's because uh -huh. I had never ever gotten teddy. I, I don't think, even in secondary school, I never got Valentine's presents. Okay. So this one, I was like, I really want a teddy bear. Everybody, I've never gotten one, so buy me a teddy bear. He bought a red, completely like head to toe, tiny teddy bear. Although I carried that, that, I had that teddy bear for like three years. I named the teddy bear Grace. <laughs> <laughs> but then that teddy bear was horrible. I felt like he could have done better. I wanted a big, fat, stuffy, white or brown teddy bear and I got a tiny red teddy bear. Okay. Well, is the thought that counts or the effort? Yes, well, Perhaps. but still it was horrible. Mm. I've had better kids. I, I, would, I would do you one over. Uh, let's just say, I dated a guy on and off for about seven years who only gave me one present. Oof. A book. <laughs> the entire seven years, one book. I'm like, dude, hello, hi. Can you at least help us, you know, trinket? There's a little, in fact, if you are at loss for what to give me, money is also a present. What was the book about? Me. Was it a novel or inspirational? It's book? novel, but it's one of those it vampire stories. No, you can't inspire me to do worse <laughs> than I'm already doing right now, having dated you with no present. And I was constantly buying a present for you get. But it's okay, you know, you grow, you live, you learn. <laughs> Nowadays, I receive all kinds of gifts every day. Oh, yes, we thank God. Able God. Thank God. <laughs> Please, what about you? Just tell me you don't mind. Because that's the crisis, not the way to be going.